Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Glad you stopped by because I actually have something pretty crazy uh, to actually show you guys today. Something that I wasn't expecting. Um, so we had an interview a while back with Sweetie and his new friend, Deborah Rogers. Now, this lady's from Oklahoma. It's one of Sweetie's new victims. And I say victims because it's basically what it is. And uh, she... Got a DUI, and she's trying to fight the DUI by saying that the Cherokee Nation has no jurisdiction over her, and so the law does not apply to her. Well, the thing is, she actually went to court and got her ass put in jail. Which, who didn't see that coming, honestly? She, uh, she took the wrong advice, and she ended up in jail. Well, we actually got an interview with her. Uh, we heard, and I actually tuned in a little bit to Kate earlier, and, you know, got a little bit of information that Sweetie put out there saying that she is not getting water, she's in severe pain, and awful things are happening. So I figured I would call the Cherokee Nation uh, direct Correctional Center, is that right? Well, I don't know what it's called, but I actually called them, and I got to speak to Deborah. And uh, it was pretty interesting. It wasn't very long, but it was pretty interesting. So, Deborah... Um, now that now now that we're able to talk together, um, so why did you decide to walk out of <laughs> the courtroom? What 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 made you think that was a good idea? Well, I thought I, you know I was like, let me take a sippy sip of my drinky drink to just just a little bit. But Deborah, I thought you didn't have any drinks in jail like water. Well, I, I just kind of, you know, just kind of just took a little bit. I, I snuck it in, and you know, I got my drinky drink. I'm not going to leave with my drinky drink on, you know what I mean? I'm not going to leave. I'm going to have my sippy sip, okay? And, uh, yeah, it, 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 it is what it is. I'm not going to drink no water because there's shit everywhere. There's all kinds of shit everywhere. And I... I'm so good. It's so good. Deborah, you shouldn't be drinking... In jail, I don't know how you was able to take in. Are you? Is those pills? Alcohol and pills? You? I thought you was needing water. You sh shut up, you sad man. I do whatever I want, whenever I want, because the law doesn't apply to me. These Cherokee nations are treating me so bad. They're making me so much pain right now, and I'm not gonna drink any of that water, boy. Because they don't have jurisdiction over me because I'm Deborah. Yeah, I know your name's Deborah, but um, for somebody that's supposedly in severe pain and is refusing to drink water by saying there's shit on... Is there literally shit on the sink? Well, I mean, it's dirty and... Uh, give me one sec. <laughs> Oh, so good, so good, so good. <sighs> Anyways, there's shit everywhere, man. There's so much shit all over the place, and uh, I'm just not gonna drink no water with that. You know, you know what I mean? Because the end of the day, these Cherokee nations, they just want to take, they they just want to rule me, and you know they're treating me so bad, and I want to go to the doctor, the the ER, and. Get me, get me out of this place. Well, you do have to serve your time, obviously. You can't just break the law, go to court, walk out of court, put yourself in contempt of court, and expect nothing to happen. You would think somebody with average intelligence would know that, and at least a little bit of common sense. Um, you know, you do the crime, you do the time. Well, I don't know. Do, give me one second. I got. I'm just telling you. I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna throw up. I'm in so much pain right. right I, I, there is shit everywhere, and uh, this this is a dungeon rape cage, and they, they got me everywhere, baby. And anyways, I, give me a second. <laughs> Oh, so good, so good. You really need to... I, I, I said this before. You really need to not do that. Like, you need to get help. 
this is coming from somebody that is genuinely concerned with your health. Like, I really think you should get some help. Uh, possibly a bunch of help. Uh, mentally and physically, you need to get out of here, Debra. My name is Deborah, you piece of shit. It's Deborah. Don't ever call me De De Deborah again, you piece of shit. And anyways, my sweet, sweet chili, he... He's coming to save the day for me, you know? And, uh... uh mm, so good. So, so, so good. So good. Hey, 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 the boy. The boy, it's me. Uh, your, your sweet chili. Your sweet chili. I, I, I'm going to save your life. I'm coming to save you, you know? I, I'm coming for you, honey. Uh, you're my new girlfriend. You, you might not know this, but... I love you very much. I care about you so much. And once we get some money and I get me a car, we can get married and we can do whatever you want. Okay? That's that's right. That's that's right, my sweet chili. <laughs> my sweet chili. <laughs> Oh, I can't do this. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm done. But let me check me enough to drink of his zippy 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 my drinky drink, you know? You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, God, I hate myself sometimes. <laughs> but... But I, I'm getting my car, you know. I'm getting my car, and it, it got stolen. And you know, I, I've been, I've been rooting for, it. I've been rooting for you so much, so much, Deborah. I, I care so much, and I have to just come. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Interview's over, guys. Interview's over. I'm sorry. I can't fucking do it. Oh boy, I hate myself sometimes, but guys, thank you for putting up with that. That is the cringiest thing I've ever done, probably. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Sweet, sweet Deborah. Sweet, sweet Chili. Oh my god, what, what is this world? Guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it, and I'll see you soon.